TV. The only thing France has ever exported that I care about. The following is a beat the clock sprint match in the ring from Austin, Texas, weighing in at 190 pounds. Is one half of the tag team champions. Oh, look at Beat the clock sprint continues tonight. We are in Lakeland, Florida for Friday night SmackDown, first SmackDown of the new year. And guess who's joining us? New York Yankee center fielder Johnny Damon. Another millionaire like me from New York that everybody loves. New Yorkers love me and Damon. We hang out all the time together. He wasn't silly enough to spend his uh, Christmas vacation in Antarctica. But who is Paul London's opponent going to be? Again, a random drawing. What is this? Wow. And making his way to the ring from Seattle, Washington. Weighing in at 179 pounds. He is one half of the tag team champions. Brian Kendrick. Champion versus champion. It is random. And think about this, Michael. They're both sitting backstage wanting to know if they're going to be in a match. And all of a sudden, tag team partners pitted against each other. Well, general manager Theodore Law said it was going to be random. This is very random. As you see, the time to beat set by Kane moments ago, 7 minutes, 53 seconds. So if either Paul London or Brian Kendrick can win this matchup in less than 7.53, they will set the pace for an opportunity to face Batista for the world title at the Royal Rumble. You are to play Vladimir Kravnik and Jess. <laughs> Look at sure. kick out. Paul London again going for the quick covers, and Brian Kendrick as well. It's all about time, JBL. It's all about time. These guys are as quick as you can get. But are they quick enough to beat that 7.53? What is the strategy, especially if your partners and friends like these two are? Look, you've thought about it before. It's no secret. You're driving down the road together. You're flying together. You're going to appearances together. You always wonder who is better than the other one. I can't tell you how many times Farouk and I had different drinking contests. And then sometimes we'd have another drinking contest. Well, we're, 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 we're talking about wrestling, JBL. We're talking about tag team partners trying to figure out who's better okay we had we had some drinking contests could this uh, be a matchup that could break up an extraordinary tag team like the, the current tag champs here's a cover by london ryan Le kendrick bridging out of that the thing is michael you don't know for sure because you're fighting to see who can fight for a world championship think about this you got two tag team specialists you got london and kendrick both have a shot a dark shot to step into the ring and fight for the world championship against that man right there at the Royal Rumble. What is going through the mind of the world heavyweight champion as Batista looks on? Just just, just bring us to, to his thoughts for a moment. What do you think's going it's on? It's got to be in complete amazement. This was a shock to him as it was to us and all the other SmackDown fans watching the show right now. Batista is trying to find out and do a little scout work for what's going to happen at the Royal Rumble. Paul London, side headlock takedown. Brian Kendrick counters with a Leg scissors right around the throat area. And quite honestly, he may be cheering for one of these guys. He may not want to face Kane. So he may think he has a better chance against a London or a Kendrick. It's a great point. You see the countdown continuing from 7 minutes, 53 seconds. The pace set by Kane. Brian Kendrick takedown again, shoulders down. London realizes it and gets the arm up. If you were involved in this, what type of strategy would you use to try to keep that clock to a minimum? You do what you have to do right off the bat. You know, so many, so many times. Oh, look at this! He may have him! Shoulders down! Kick out by London again. Brian Kendrick going for the, the cover there. And Brian Kendrick taking it to his partner. But London counters. Shoulders down again. And if this keeps up, one of these men may very well beat Kane's pace. But and again, how exciting would it be for a dark horse like London and Kendrick? Two tag team specials. Taking nothing away from them. Held the championship for most of 2006, but tag team specialist to get a shot at the world championship. Shoulders down, kick out by Kendrick. And to answer your question, Michael, the thing you do is cheat off the bat. It's real simple. Too many guys lose their temper. All of a sudden, they try to pull out every trick in the book later in the match. Do it right off the go. This is your chance to headline Royal Rumble. Look at this. Paul London doing everything he can to stay on his back. Kendrick knocks the legs out from under him, and Paul London lifts the shoulder up again. Four minutes, 39 seconds and counting. One of these men needs a victory in that time. 
to be in contention for a world championship opportunity at the Royal Rumble on January 28th. And what's hard to fathom here is these two guys came to the ring today, had no idea they were going to be in this, and certainly had no idea they were going to be facing each other. Totally random drawing. Brian Kendrick over the top, may have him! London can't get out of that, but he did. Paul London squirming to get out of that predicament. These two men are... WWE Tag Team Champions here on SmackDown. They've held those titles since May at Judgment Day. But tonight, they're battling for an opportunity to win the world title. Brian Kendrick slides through. Paul London counters. But he had him there again. Counter after counter after counter. They know each other well. As Kendrick glanced at the clock. And London did as well, realizing the time rapidly approaching zero. And if you're in this type of situation, John, it must seem like that clock is moving a lot faster than a second at a time. Absolutely. You got a shot to fight for the world championship, and that clock is just burning time off of it. Three and a half, and counting down. And you're right, I didn't see uh, Johnny Damon in uh, Antarctica where I was this week. Oh! Brian Kendrick. Paul London. Kendrick in up over the top rope, but there's the tremendous balance of Brian Kendrick. And Kendrick sent through the second rope. And this could give Paul London the opening he needs. Ryan Kendrick back into the ring. Paul London, these guys know each other so well. It's like a chess match. Take another look. Watch this. Kendrick through the second rope. Paul London tried to take the advantage offensively. And Kendrick got back into the ring. What these counters are doing are burning time. I will tell you this, Michael, you can go to WWE.com and look up my Antarctic trip, and you can see a lot of penguins that look just like Tony Chimmel. I understand you had enough ice for your drinks for the week as well. <laughs> I would have to drink a lot. Two and a half minutes and counting. Ryan Kendrick and Paul London desperately, desperately trying to pick up a victory in this matchup in the time allotted. You can also check me out on Fox News at uh, 10.30 this uh, Saturday morning. Bill Caputo show. Up over the top goes Brian Kendrick. Here's the leap club by Paul London. Both men down center of the ring. Could be the turning point of the matchup. Does the high-flying style or a mat-based style, which style is best for this type of a, well, clock-burning opportunity? you, you got to do what brought you to the dance, Michael. You've got to go with what, what you do best. And whatever that is, that's going to be a dizziness to each performer. You, if... if Flying around does it for you. You got to stay with that because you got to hit a home run right off the bat. You don't have a chance to wear down your opponent in seven minutes and 53 seconds. Minute 42 and counting now. Time becomes very crucial for both of these men. Not much time left to pick up a victory in the matchup. It has pretty much been a stalemate from the get-go between these co-champions and friends, Paul London and Brian Kendrick. A minute and a half to go. Kane set the pace. Paul London. Kendrick rolls through. Kendrick even using the tights there. And Brian Kendrick into the ropes. So that's what I'm talking about, Michael. Why wait six minutes in the match when you got a clock burning time to treat the win? Cheat right off the bat. Paul London up to the apron. Paul London up over the top. He's got him. He's got him. Hook of the leg. And London almost had Brian Kendrick who kicked at it too. Side headlock takedown. Shoulders down, Paul London squirming his way out. We're under a minute left. Paul London. There's a two count again. Desperation time for London and Kendrick. Now you've really got to pull out the stop. You, you have no try choice. Anything. If you lose, it's just an L on your record. If you win, you get a world championship match. You got to try whatever you can. Oh, he's got this it. Look at the lay. Kendrick's going to advance here. No. Paul London reverses. Kick out by Kendrick. A half a minute to go. One of these men have got to pick up a victory, or they will be eliminated from the beat-the-clock sprint. Well, what do you do here? I guess this is what you do. Go for pinfall after pinfall and try to put your opponent seconds. away. Paul London back to his feet. Brian Kendrick as well. You hear the SmackDown fans? Got to get him back in the ring. Counting down from 10, exchanging blows. London knocked down. Neither London nor Kendrick will advance. Kane will continue to set the pace. A competitive matchup between the tag team champions. And there is Ashley. Ashley, of course, friends of both London and Kendrick.
But more importantly, Michael, right before WrestleMania, WWE's latest, sexiest women on television, the cover girl of Playboy. Well, the spirit of competition between London and Kendrick. But the bottom line is this. Kane is still setting the pace in the beat-the-clock sprint. The